Hallelujah. In heaven you are gone. On air you are gone. In heaven you are gone. On air you are gone. You are gone. In heaven you are gone. On air you are gone. In heaven you are gone. On air you are gone. You are gone. In heaven you are gone. On air you are gone. In heaven you are gone, on air you are gone. Mm. Nani Jesus, Nani Jesus, Nani ya, Eburu Bamide, Eburu Bamide, Obadi Wope, Ebemara, Nani Jesus, Akabakaya, Agati over a melamuma. All the Bubaya, Kenelu Alini Mendu. It is in Kendu, Eta de Ata Tande. Akabakaya, Agati over a Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to thank the Lord for His manifold mercies and grace that he had extended unto us, he had given unto us, free of charge. If we are to pay for it, we cannot pay it. He gave us air, free of charge. He gave us so many things, sleep, free of charge. So, Daddy, we thank you. Receive our glory. Men and brethren, I welcome you today. Join me in the Bible reading broadcast today. The Lord bless you as you listen and bless you wonderfully beyond your comprehension, beyond your imaginations in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, pray. I read now. The book of Luke, chapter 14. And it came to pass, as he went into the house of one of the sheep Pharisees to eat bread on a Sabbath day, that they watched him. And behold, there was a certain man before him which had the dropsy. And Jesus answering spake unto the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on a Sabbath day? And they held their peace, and he took him, and healed him, and let him go. And answer them, saying, Which of you shall have an ass or an ox fall into a pit, and will not stretch where put him out on a Sabbath day? And they could not answer him again to these things. And he put forth a parable to those which were bidding when he marked how they choose out the sheep rooms, saying unto them, When thou art bidding of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honorable man than thou be bidding of him. And he that bade thee, and he in come, and said to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room. Then when he that bid thee cometh, he may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher. Then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. But whosoever exalted himself shall be abased. And he that humble himself shall be exalted. Then said he also to him that bade him, When thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also be thee again and a recompense be made thee. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, 
the maimed, the lame, the blind. And thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee. For thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. And when one of them that sat at meat with him heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper, and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that we are bidding, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all, with one consent, began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the hurt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done, and thou hast commanded. And yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out unto the highways and hedges, and compare them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which we are bidding shall taste of my supper. And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me, and heard not his father, and mother, and wife, and children, and brethren, and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross, and come after me, cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first, and counted the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it, lest happily after he had laid the foundation, and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. Saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make a war against another king, sitting on down first and consulted whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000? Or else, why the order is yet a great way off, he sendeth an ambassage and desire conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsake not all that he had, he cannot be my disciple. Sword is good, but if the sword of loss is several, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill. But man cast it out. He that had ear to hear, let him hear. Daddy praise the Lord. We are come to the end of the reading of the scripture. The book of Luke chapter 14. I thank the Lord for grace given to us. Thank you for joining me. It depends to read the word of God. So I want to stop here. Join me next time and Lord bless you as you give attention, like my channel, subscribe, drop your comment, and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name.
Praise the Lord. See you next time.